Hello, I'm Mike from Zeppelin. I've talked to hundreds of different product teams, and today I'm going to share with you some tips, some tricks, and a new feature in Zeppelin. So in the design to development workflow, collaboration across a team is critical. As a designer, I need to work with copy, with UX, with marketers, developers, and more to bring my designs to life. But today in design tools, you're given this wall of screens. And actually, I wasn't the designer that created this file. And when I got this file, I was like, what's going on in this file? So you can imagine that if I'm someone who's not familiar with design tools, this is going to be very complicated and confusing for me. Zeppelin helps today by translating this wall of screens with a couple features. The first is sections, so I can organize my screens. Here I have a guides and a details section. Another is tag, so I might add a tag for where in the product uh, lifecycle these screens are. And the third is our integrations. So I have this project attached to uh, a Jira issue, and I can also filter on my issues here. But we wanted to go one step further. And it's actually kind of interesting. In design, screen states or screen variants are actually created separately as two different screens. So here you can see I have a light and a dark mode. I have my breakpoints for desktop, tablet, and mobile. And these are all separate screens. But in development, these are actually treated as one screen. So the question becomes, how as a designer do I communicate to my devs and the rest of the team what is and what isn't a screen variant? Well, today you might add a text layer. So my lovely designer here has added a text layer notifying me of my guides variants. Another way we see teams doing it is through layouts. So I might tell my team, hey, whenever you see a horizontal layout, that means that these are variants and some other designers use vertical. We might just have a Slack conversation back and forth, or I might have a meeting where I'm running my devs through uh, what exactly is a variant in my design file. But this is actually a pretty simple file, and you can imagine that if I have hundreds of screens, adding a text layer for every single variant quickly saps a ton of my time, and it's very burdensome. For layout, I might be using horizontal, but maybe another developer is using a vertical layout. And for meetings and slacks, look, I like Slack and I like having meetings, but if there's a better way to communicate this a quicker way, then that's what I want to be doing. And that's why we created screen variants. So there's two ways to create screen variants in Zeppelin. The first is after you publish, you can select and drag and drop. And now here I can toggle between the different variants. The other way is in your design tool. So I can name this artboard with a dash V and that will tell Zeppelin that these are variants. Then when we publish them, Zeppelin will automatically create variants for them. So let's see that in action. Great. So now we can see that that detail page came in as a variant. I'm just going to add this dark mode in as a variant too. So instantly now I can toggle between the different variants, see my loading and error states, I can see my breakpoints that we saw earlier, and I can see my light and dark mode. So variance is taking the guesswork out of what is and what isn't a screen variant. I don't have to uh, add text layers. I don't have to have some wonky layout screen, no more meetings, and no more back and forth on Slack. I instantly know as a dev or someone else on the product team what is a variant and what is the same screen. So this is going to speed up my design to development process and improve my collaboration across the team. We're incredibly excited to see what you're going to do with screen variants. That's it for now, and thanks.